Hello, in this video we will be going over how to use the Edit Fill and Background Editor. This feature is associated with the review stage of your Mosaic project. This step is not required if you want the mosaic to be filled corner to corner, or if you're not finding any clarity issues on certain parts of your mosaic. We'll begin by navigating to the editor using this button here. What you see here are some helpful tips on how to use the editor, which we're going to go through now. The fill mask will define areas in red that will not be populated by photos. The priority mask will define areas in green that you would like to turn out clearer in the resulting mosaic. If your source image has red and green areas in it, you can use the grayscale feature here to get a better visualization of the areas you're looking to define. The background tool is where you can upload an image or a solid color to fill in areas where photos will not be appearing in your mosaic. If you're going to upload an image, it's important to note that you will need to meet the minimum size requirements, as well as having the same aspect ratio for your source image. You can find your minimum size requirements here. Here, we can select a solid color as our background using the slider or specific hex code. For this tutorial, we're going to be using an artistic rendition of our source image for the background. So we're going to go ahead and upload that now. With our background image uploaded, we can now start defining our fill and priority mask areas. For this image, we're going to be prioritizing the kayak ties as well as her bracelets. And for the fill mask, we're going to be masking out the sky and the mountains. You will not need a priority mask unless you find clarity issues within your mosaic. So while I go through and I use these tools, I'll bring you back afterwards. I'll speed it up just so you can see the time lapse of how I'm doing it. So now that we've gone through and we've defined our areas for both the fill mask and the priority mask, our editor looks like this. And to go and re-render out our new mosaic, we're going to go ahead and hit save. Now that we've re-rendered out our mosaic, we can view it on our review page. Here we can preview what our mosaic looks like now that we have the masks in place. And if you're ready to move on to the next step, you'll go to the bottom of the page here and hit your Explore Your Mosaic button. 